Good morning, Costa Rica. This is Yolo News. And for national news, here is Mr. Leonel Young to talk to you. Thank you, Mr. Diego de la Garza. Awesome. Our first news will be that there is a new German electronics company in Costa Rica. A German electronic company will called Solner Electronics will be established in Costa Rica. This company will invest a, a great amount of almost $10 million to build two highly technological operation bases. The, the costly and delicate equipment will be taken to this place. The first base will be an electronic device manufacturing building and the other will be an engineering servicing building. These establishments are expected to become operational by the end of the next year. After the completion of the first two buildings, the company will build a third building that will be used for manufacturing. Solner Electronics will ex export at least at uh, will Solner Electronic will expect at least 200 people to show up for a job. This is a great opportunity for Costa Rican people looking for a job. The company will hire uh, uh, people who are experienced on technology. If you're interested, please visit solner.cr for more information. The company will manufacture electronic devices as well as electronic components. Thank you. Now let's talk. Now let's hear about Diego and its international news. China is in trouble. A new type of hornet called Vespa mandarinia that destroys red blood cells when, st when it stings you and has a really high risk of killing you or harming your body permanently has been reported in China. There has been about 1,500 people that have been stung by one of these hornets since July this year in three cities in the Shanghai province in China. 42 patients have died and many others are in treatment right now in the hospital. Yeah, and, and the hornet. The giant hornet extends to about 3.5 to 3.9 centimeters in length and can grow up to be about 5 centimeters. The giant hornets are attracted by human sweat and alcohol and some sweet flavors and smells. The influence of its venom to the human body can cause allergic reactions and multiple and multiple organ failure, leading to death or permanent harm. Patients have been receiving dialysis to remove the toxins from their bodies. In photos, patients have deep, dark craters scattered across their skin, their limbs. They're the size of bullet wounds, and those are the bites that, and stings that the hornet does on your body to implant their eggs. As powerful as, 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 powerful as their stings can be, it is highly unlikely that these hornets will travel all the way to the United States or the United Kingdom. And now to Mr. Antonio Cartin for the latest news and sports. Thank you, Dr. And welcome to the sports news. Well, the FIFA president, the Blatter, talked about the 2023 World Cup. This World Cup no, is supposed to be taking place in no, it's ridiculous. But the extreme heat in no, June and July in Qatar are a very big problem. The temperature that can be up to more than 3 Celsius, this has been more than any doubt. You gotta wonder how much that is really Of where is the World Cup going to be taking place? And because the players could also have a hard time playing in such a hard time. Trying to solve this problem, the incredible of the incredible heat in Qatar, are the possibilities like building stadiums with air conditioning, or trying to move the time of the World Cup so it doesn't crash with the hot weather in Qatar. Of the month of June and July. Many people believe that they that doing the World Cup in Qatar is not the best idea. But Seth Blatter, the FIFA president, trusted in Qatar and wants to do the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Thank you for watching your news. See you next time, Costa Rica.